What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions and functions, and we're going to talk about the body function inside the referencing functions section. So body is the ability to pass in a action name and a parameter that you want to get out, and it will return that parameter to you. So if you are sending, um, if you are, are, are retrieving a message uh, and you need a piece of information from that, you can use that to get this out. So let's take a look at it today. I'm in Power Automate here. Um, I have a, um, I don't have a manual trigger flow for a change. I actually have one that is from a CDS record for when a record is updated. And then after that, uh, I'm using a get record action to retrieve some data. Now, this is because I want to use this referencing function ability. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference something from this uh, from this action here. So I've got a compose uh, box and compose action down here. So I click into inputs, click over to expression, scroll down until I get to referencing functions here. And then there is a body one here. Um, so this says it is shorthand for actions, action name, dot outputs, dot body. So what this means is if you've watched my last couple of videos about um, actions and about outputs, this is all about getting content uh, and these, these um, functions are all ways to get content out of a specific action. This one specifically body is the way to specify a action name and then instead of writing action name dot outputs dot body dot you know um, field that you want, you can just type in body, pass the action name, and then um, put a dot, and then pass the parameter that you want to get out. So if I click body there, the action name that we're going to use is actually get underscore record. That is the name of the action in this step. So this isn't the actual name of the step, this is the name of the action of what it is doing in that step. And then at the end, we're going to hit dot and then created on. So what this will do is this will uh, run, it will look into this action, and what whatever this action is, it will find this created on value and return that into the referencing function here. So click OK, goes into there, and we will test it. So we're actually going to run it from a previous successful test, um, just to save time. Save and test. Flow run successfully. And I'll expand this one first. So this, um, this is the body of the text. And these are the fields that we are actually getting out. Uh, and these are the fields that we want to reference. So if we scroll down, we should see, if we can find it, if you don't scroll too too far past it, the created on field. Create on. So we know so this is the field that we're getting out. So we've referenced this action, we've referenced the body output of this action, and we've referenced the created on parameter, and therefore we should see this data in here. If we expand this, we can see this data is in here and this matches. So this function allows you to specifically request a parameter from inside this. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Why am I doing this? This is just dynamic content, and you're right, actually. So you can see here, it presents as a function. Now, if I, um, so this is saved because uh, I've just run the flow. If I exit out of this and then go back into this, this Remsen function actually updates with the dynamic content and it's actually showing dynamic content in here. So what this is doing is this is referencing the dynamic content. So I kind of think this is a, a legacy holdover from Logic Apps where we would use potentially a function like this to get something from inside a record, but it's still there in Power Automate at the moment. Um, it could also have other implications maybe when you are um, returning some dynamic content Maybe it's there in the JSON, but it doesn't necessarily give you the dynamic content for it. So if you're doing this jet record, um, it may actually appear in that JSON body, but it doesn't appear as a um, as a sort of piece of dynamic content that you can choose in here. Um, it could be that that's the reason as well. 
Uh, but as always, I'd like to know what you guys are using this for. Um, is this something you use? Is this just a holdover from Logic Apps? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video, video, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. And if you're not subscribed already, click the subscribe button on my YouTube channel so you can get all the latest videos. And I'll see you next time.